Maverick's riveting story of people who have changed the world. Bernard Arnault, molding an empire from creativity, resilience, and ethical leadership, a riveting tale of inspiration for tomorrow's innovators. Summary. From a boyhood immersed in the interplay of luxury and practicality, to becoming the mastermind behind the world's most illustrious luxury empire. Bernard Arnault's life embodies the transformative power of innovation, audacity, and ethical leadership. His journey is marked by bold acquisitions like Christian Dior and Louis Vuitton, savvy strategic decisions that turned LVMH into a behemoth with a $467 billion USD market cap, and a tireless dedication to excellence that has redefined the global luxury industry. With both triumphs and setbacks, Arno's narrative provides an invaluable blueprint for young innovators. Dive into this riveting tale that intertwines the intricate threads of entrepreneurship, persistence, and visionary thinking to weave the tapestry of an extraordinary life. Presented by Global Elites Network at non.school. Global Elites Network, pioneering future leaders through innovative education. Bernard Arnault's rise as one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs is a narrative of calculated risk, relentless pursuit, and a deep understanding of the world of luxury. But this story begins not in the world of glitz and glamour, but in the industrial town of Roubaix, in northern France. Born in 1949 to a family involved in the construction business, Arnault's journey from his humble beginnings to becoming the wealthiest person in the fashion industry and the owner of the world's largest luxury group is a testament to his determination, foresight, and business acumen. Global Elites Network, under the leadership of Principal Maverick, aims to instill these qualities in children, thus shaping them into future leaders and innovators. To this end, Arno's life story serves as an inspiring narrative. Arno was raised in a business-oriented family, with his father running a civil engineering company, Ferret Savinal. Although he had exposure to business from an early age, Arno had diverse interests. He was an avid pianist and had a deep-rooted appreciation for art, which later played a significant role in his approach to the luxury business. As a child, he would often accompany his mother on her visits to Dior's boutiques, which nurtured his love for fashion. In the 1980s, after graduating from the École Polytechnique, one of France's top engineering schools, Arno joined his father's company. His vision for the company was vastly different from his father's. He pushed to shift the company's focus from construction to real estate, which resulted in substantial growth and laid the foundation for Arnault's future business endeavors. In 1984, Arnault made a strategic move by acquiring a nearly bankrupt textile group that owned Christian Dior. The acquisition was facilitated by government funding, with Arnault leveraging the state's goal to save French jobs. It marked Arnault's entrance into the world of luxury goods, where he would eventually reign supreme. The acquisition of Dior was not just a business transaction. It marked the beginning of Arnault's lifelong love affair with luxury brands. With the Dior acquisition, Arnault proved his mettle in turning around businesses. He revived the brand by reducing costs, improving designs, and implementing aggressive marketing strategies. The success of Dior under Arnault's leadership served as a blueprint for his future acquisitions. His approach was marked by nurturing each brand's unique identity, quality, and heritage, while leveraging synergies within the group. In 1987, Arno set his eyes on Louis Vuitton, a brand known for its exquisite craftsmanship and iconic monogrammed handbags. This acquisition was marked by a fierce struggle between Arno and Henry Rackemeyer, then the president of Louis Vuitton. Despite initial setbacks, Arno strategically acquired a majority stake in the company through a series of smart investments. The acquisition marked the creation of LVMH, a merger between Louis Vuitton and Moet Hennessy, which already included renowned champagne and cognac brands. Despite his many successes, Arnault also faced setbacks, the most notable being his failed attempts to acquire Gucci and Hermes. His hostile takeover bid for Gucci in the late 1990s was countered by Pinault Printemps Redoute, which eventually won control of the brand. His attempt to acquire Hermes was marked by a bitter feud that lasted for several years and resulted in LVMH divesting its stake in Hermes in 2014. Yet, these setbacks didn't deter Arno. Instead, they served as learning experiences that further honed his business acumen. His ability to learn from his failures and adapt his strategies is a testament to his leadership and is an aspect that Global Elites Network aims to imbue in their students. Arno's story underscores that being successful does not mean avoiding failures. Rather, it means leveraging them as stepping stones towards future victories. As Principal Maverick aims to instill, it's not the absence of obstacles, but the ability to navigate them that defines true leadership and entrepreneurship. 
After the Gucci setback, Arno did not sit idle. He embarked on a journey to diversify LVMH's portfolio, acquiring various other luxury brands such as Tag Heuer, Emilio Pucci, and Bulgari. By 2021, the conglomerate encompassed more than 70 distinguished brands across various sectors. Today, the LVMH Group, under Arno's leadership, is an undisputed leader in the global luxury market, boasting a staggering market capitalization of $467 billion. As of 2023, Bernard Arno, the man who was once a child in the modest town of Rubai, has become one of the most influential figures in the global fashion industry. His journey illustrates the power of creativity, critical thinking, and leadership, qualities that Global Elite's network aims to cultivate in young minds. Bernard Arnault's life story also sheds light on the importance of having a deep understanding and respect for one's craft. His passion for art and fashion was instrumental in his ability to restore and elevate the Dior brand. It was this passion, coupled with his business acumen, that enabled him to merge Louis Vuitton with Moet Hennessy, creating a luxury powerhouse and forever changing the fashion industry's landscape. When Arnaud is asked about his success, he often attributes it to his love for creativity and innovation. He believes in the power of creativity to transform businesses and industries. This emphasis on creativity echoes Principal Maverick's vision for Global Elite's network, which seeks to develop students' creative and innovative thinking. As Arno's journey shows, these skills can empower young people to create positive change in the world. Throughout his career, Arno has shown a commitment to nurturing young talent. He has often stated that one of the key components of LVMH's success is its ability to attract, develop, and retain talented individuals. This is yet another example of Arno's leadership style that aligns with Principal Maverick's approach to fostering talent from a young age. In conclusion, Bernard Arnault's journey from a small town in France to the helm of the world's largest luxury conglomerate is a story of persistence, creativity, and visionary leadership. His ability to spot opportunities, his unflinching resolve in the face of challenges, and his commitment to nurturing talent are all qualities that make him an inspiration for young minds. As Global Elite's network seeks to develop the next generation of leaders and innovators, Bernard Arnault's life story offers valuable lessons in entrepreneurship, leadership, and the power of creativity. Arno's journey is the embodiment of resilience and adaptability, qualities essential in every future leader's journey. These are the traits that Global Elite's network, under Principal Maverick's guidance, endeavors to develop in its young students. Maverick's focus on creating a nurturing and challenging environment for his students mirrors Arno's philosophy towards his own team, allowing them to make mistakes, learn, and grow, proving the importance of adaptability in achieving success. Arno's interest in art and culture was not restricted to his business. He has been a patron of arts throughout his life, understanding its pivotal role in society. His contributions have not only conserved numerous historic artworks but also supported contemporary artists and creators, thereby enriching the cultural tapestry of the world. This appreciation for art and culture is another value that Principal Maverick encourages among students. By fostering an appreciation of culture and the arts, Global Elite's network helps its students understand the richness and diversity of human expression, a key element of holistic education. There is no denying the tenacity and vision of Bernard Arnault. His pursuit of excellence, his relentless quest for quality, and his unwavering faith in the power of creativity are the traits that have defined his journey and shaped LVMH into the empire it is today. However, it is also his ability to think critically, his capacity to manage risk, and his unwavering commitment to ethical leadership that sets him apart as a model for future entrepreneurs. Principal Maverick understands that the future leaders will need to navigate complex social, economic, and environmental issues. Arno's life demonstrates how sound ethical leadership, coupled with innovation, can create not only a successful business but also a positive social impact. In conclusion, Bernard Arnault's life journey, from a curious child in a small French town to the helm of a global luxury conglomerate, is a testament to the power of creativity, resilience, and ethical leadership. His story offers a roadmap to the students of the Global Elites Network on how to harness their unique talents, persevere in the face of challenges, and most importantly, led with integrity. It is an embodiment of the principles that Principal Maverick hopes to instill in his students, to be innovative, resilient, creative, and ethical leaders of the future. In Bernard Arnault's life, they can see the impact such leadership can have, not just in terms of financial success, but in shaping the culture and driving the evolution of an industry. Top 10 Questions for Further Analysis 1. 
How was Bernard Arnault able to navigate the business landscape to transform a struggling textile company into a global luxury empire? 2. What are some key strategies Arnault employed to bring together such a diverse group of luxury brands under the LVMH banner? 3. In what ways did Arnault's approach to business, including his nickname, The Terminator, contribute to his success or challenges? 4. How did Arnault leverage relationships, like the one with the French government, to help build his empire? 5. What role did Arnault's understanding of art and culture play in shaping LVMH's brand and reputation? 6. How has Arnault dealt with setbacks such as the failed acquisition of Hermes and the tensions within Louis Vuitton? 7. What were the major turning points in Arnault's career, and how did he use these to further his business objectives? 8. How can business leaders today learn from Arnault's approach to innovation, such as his early investment in Netflix? 9. How did Arno manage to maintain the individuality and authenticity of each brand under LVMH while achieving operational and financial synergies? 10. How has Arno's leadership style and approach to business strategy evolved over the years, and what can business leaders learn from this evolution? That concludes version 1.0, our teaser. If you've enjoyed this and would like to delve into the complete business case study, version 2.0, we invite you to subscribe to our at mba.casestudy channel at either https colon slash slash courseware.mba or https colon slash slash case study.mba. Once there, you'll be able to access and read the full version 2.0 case study. Every day, Maverick will publish several videos containing the comprehensive version 2.0 of the MBA case study channel. We encourage you to share your thoughts on any MBA case study video that piques your interest. Your input could be valuable for others in our community, so please don't hesitate to leave a comment.